Hi guys, so this week's video is a piece of fan art of Metaton EX from the game Undertale. So just like last time, this is kind of done exactly the same way, just with a different character. So I actually drew this pose of Metaton by looking on Google Images and looking up sassy poses and just combining quite a few of them together to create this version of Metaton. I dare say like there is a reference out there for for this, but I actually combined several together to create a different pose. So yeah, here it is, Metaton EX. Now the materials I used for this piece, I actually used watercolour and I used Prismacolor Premier Pencil Crayons. Now most people ask me what my watercolours are. Now my watercolours are actually tubed watercolours that have been squeezed into a palette. It's a Royal Land Nickel palette. It kind of looks like the Rigger art palette, even though it's not. It's from Royal Land Nickel. And the paint itself is actually a brand called Cree Lando. And the paint, you can't really get online, unfortunately. I have looked. I've looked on Amazon, I've looked on several other sites. I think it is available somewhere, but you really have to look for it. But it's a brand that is sold at Lidl and Aldi. Well, I think mainly Lidl. Now, Lidl is a German supermarket in the UK. And it's a very, very cheap budget supermarket. And so these are really cheap watercolours. That's what I've been doing them with. So for anybody who was asking about the watercolour, yes, I have done it with that. Another colour that I have used a lot of is um, Permanent Magenta from Winsor & Newton. That is one of my favourite Winsor & Newton colours, apart from the obvious Prussian blue. But yes, all of these are really cheap watercolours except for that Windsor & Newton colour because that is that is pretty expensive for like a tiny tube like why do they why do they sell for that much but I just thought that colour was worth buying because it's actually one of the exclusive colours it's one of the limited edition ones and I was like trust me to actually like that colour Trust me to do that. So, just rushing ahead for the background, I will say that I mixed together a special kind of watercolour, like very, very concentrated watercolour. So, there was not very much water going into it, but I had enough to make it spread. And I mixed my Koh-in-Noor red water watercolour ink with the permanent magenta to create the background effect. Now I pre-mixed that before I started the live stream I did this on and I was so happy with the result. I was really really happy. I wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did. The only thing I will say is that Metaton actually was stuck down to the table so I could not move him. So in certain positions like I don't know if you can actually tell, but it's really, really difficult for me to get in certain places on Metaton. But I don't think it's really possible for you to actually tell. But yeah, in some areas it was pretty difficult. And even though it was difficult, Metaton created the best peel around the, around the edges. So on each of my Undertale pictures, you will have noticed that I'm doing a little half centimetre border around all of them. Some of them work, some of them don't work, and for the ones that don't work, it's okay. It just adds to the aesthetic, to be perfectly honest, I don't really mind. But I was so happy with the half centimetre border that I placed around Metaton because it was all clean, it was perfectly crisp, it's like the best one 
that has come out so far with the edges. So I might do that, even though it's all a little bit awkward for myself. I, th I think I might actually stick to that technique. So you can see me going in with lots of black and pink and it's mostly grey that I've also been using as well because the grey that comes in my Cree Lando watercolours is like this cool grey. It's a real nice kind of metallic grey colour that you can like light and duck. And that that's the best thing. Like honestly, it differs from the black a lot. It's more like it's mixed with a little bit of blue as well. It's just so nice to use. So as you can see, now I'm going in with my pencil crayons on Metaton. That's how I do it. I do the character with all of the details with pencil crayon after it's all dried. And then after I've done all of the character, I go with the background and then after the background is dry I peel off the masking tape of course and then I put all highlights because highlights can actually be in the background as well. Some characters have more background detail with pencil crayon than others because I have actually done a picture of Alfie's and she didn't need any pencil crayon work in the background and I was so happy about that. Whereas Metaton, it felt like he needed a bit of, quite a bit of pencil crayon work in the background to make it look a bit more like smoke. Give it that smoky effect like it's coming from a smoke machine on stage. That's the kind of effect I was going for. So for the rest of this video it is actually going to be music, I'm sorry. Now, the music right now is actually Metal Crusher. I prefer Metal Crusher over Death by Glamour. That's just a personal preference. Don't hate me for it. But when Death by Glamour comes on in this video, that's when all the peel comes off, like the masking tape peeling. And it's satisfying and I've slowed the clip down. It's at original speed and it's so satisfying to watch just peeling off that masking tape to reveal that lovely crisp line. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Bye guys!